Hi, I'm Sean O'Kane with Chip Estimate TV. We're here at the groundbreaking ceremony at the new Samsung facility at First and Tasman in San Jose. My guest is Bob Brennan, the Senior Vice President, Samsung R&D. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, Sean, I'm really glad to be here. You know, Samsung has been part of Silicon Valley for 30 years. Yeah. With this new building facility, we're trying to increase our presence here in Silicon Valley and invest for innovation in the future. Mm -hmm. The bedrock of Samsung, the bedrock is technology and technology leadership. Aligned with that bedrock, we're building on the bedrock of Silicon Valley. In building on the bedrock of Silicon Valley, which is the most innovative place in the world, we're seeking to attract some of the top talent from across the world, bring it here to the Valley, create an inspirational, innovative environment, and it's really exciting. You know, the recent uh, CES conference in Las Vegas, uh, Samsung was the green sponsor <laughs> <laughs> and uh, featured a number of your green technology products. Yeah. And how interesting is that kind of lead into this new facility and with this green technology in the architecture, yeah. at the same time, all these low power green technology that Samsung is, is creating and building and innovating mm -hmm. internally. Can you talk a little bit about that? So, we obviously have a green planet, and right. Samsung has a major focus on energy efficient products. It spans from our televisions to our memory products, you name it. Energy efficiency is one of the key focus areas. Aligned to that, when we architected and dreamed up this building, we went for a LEED certification. It's 10 stories, it's over a million square feet, and we're trying to be energy efficient and green in our research and development aligned to the green aspects of our product. Fantastic, well said. Uh, Mr. Bob Brennan, right here uh, with Samsung. Thank you Thank for you, joining Sean. me. Really appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Thank Take you. Take care. So, Samsung is creating products that bring a greener way of living uh, with their Planet First initiative. And they create a sustainable uh, solutions, uh, developing uh, innovations such as mobile devices and consumer products. With that, now they have uh, uh, translated that focus into a new design environment. Uh, with a very, very strong focus on energy efficiency and uh, with the encouragement of collaboration uh, with an employee interaction. Um, and these design features, new design features, very unique, um, have been added for many team collaborative uh, uh, zones throughout this new uh, facility that will be uh, uh, constructed in the next year and a half. Right now I have Mr. Jonathan Ward with NBBJ. Morning, Sean. Now NBBJ is the architect of the this new facility. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. So uh, talk a little bit about how unique this building is and how important it is for San Jose and Silicon Valley. Yeah, I think what we've created here is a, a building, we, we actually call it the Green Synergy Tower. It's, a, it's, it's much more dense than a typical model that you find in San Jose or Silicon Valley, um, which is, you know, it's, it's 10 stories, it's right on the street corner, it's, it's an urban experience, and it's also very well connected inside the building. So visually and physically, there's a, a lot of opportunities for people to communicate. And that's a, that's a big change from the typical office building in this, in this region. And I'll talk about the technology behind this new design, very unique. And I know NBBJ has done an, a number of, of designs throughout the world and thankfully selected San Jose here and uh, in Silicon Valley for this new, very unique facility. Talk a little bit about the technology wrapped into this uh, design. Yeah, well, we, we started first with a passive design approach. So we orientate the building properly. We have, we've designed the facade to, to work with the solar path. We've, we have very narrow floor plates to allow a lot of daylight into the, into the building. Um, and we have a lot of, we've created a lot of these garden spaces as well to, to, have, to create a more positive human experience and a lot of interconnection. So that goes a long way actually to reducing energy. And on top of that, we can layer in the entire building is going to be fitted out with Samsung LED lights, mm -hmm. which will bring a dramatic decrease in energy consumption together with the daylighting actually, which is pretty cool. With that, there'll be a lot of uh, automated controls uh, so that they're not all, all the time, they're following the solar path, they're following who's using the space, so you have a lot of human control. And then in addition, there's, there's renewable energy sources with solar panels on top of the garage. And, and I think in, in addition to that actually is the, is the fact that we have densified the site, it actually allows much more of the site to be green. 
So it's it's natural green space for for natural percolation of rainwater runoff, and for a great human environment for Samsung and the public to enjoy the outdoors. Jonathan, thank you for joining us today. Jonathan Ward, NBBJ, the architect of this new facility here at Samsung. It's a pleasure, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. President and CEO of Cades Lip Bhutan, thank you for jo joining me today. Um, Samsung is, is creating this new facility that has this, all, all this great green technology and uh, architecture that has a very collaborative effort for um, bringing in uh, employees working together. Um, and what it, what's interesting, they handshake with their technology of this green, low power, energy, green planet source, you know, technology and their, and their initiatives. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, Cadence works very closely with Samsung uh, collaboratively, with, especially with their technology, helping Samsung actually be successful with, with these, uh, their products. Can you talk a little bit about the collaborative effort with Cadence and Samsung? Sure, first of all, this is a great event. Uh, it's very exciting to see that beautiful building gonna come out in the next two years. And it's very near Cadence, so we are delighted. And uh, we're just exciting, you know, attending their dinner and uh, event today. And, uh, you know, this is a great collaboration. Uh, Samsung is a very important customer and partner for us. Uh, we work very close with them and in terms of their design, development, and also their foundry enablement in the 14 nanometer and the beyond. So I think it's a great partnership and it's a great collaboration. And they are very near our campus, so we are just delighted and we welcome them. Well, thank you so much, Lipu. Sure, thank you.